Hi, welcome to CTN Member Highlights. I'm Leslie McVeigh, and today I have with me three people from Learning Works. Sonny Waterman, who's the director of Youth Building Alternatives at Learning Works. Hi, Sonny. Hi, Leslie. Thank you for having us. And Derwin Soto, who is a student at YBA, and Ariel Bentley, who's also a student. Welcome. This is great. So let's first begin with talking a little bit little bit about what YBA is, Youth Building Alternatives. Uh, YBA is a program for students who are no longer attending high school for various reasons, usually considered dropouts, um, between the ages of 16 and a half and 24. And our program is to train students to be ready for a career and or college. Um, or some other training beyond that. So we offer a very comprehensive program where we have education, vocational training, jobs for Maine graduates training. We do um, leadership classes. We have community service. Um, we're hoping to have an internship program that these two will participate in um, to give students um, as many opportunities as possible to experience various jobs and working conditions and or to go to SMCC or other training. Okay. And it's usually a program for about nine months. And um, the, the opportunities are to, to learn a skill Correct. are in the building trades, yes. culinary arts. Yes. And then we also have our newest um, skill-based training is hospitality area right. where they will be earning an industry-recognized credential either in the area of maintenance, front desk receptionist, or banquet server. And what better place to learn it than right here in Portland right. where there is so much happening in the hospitality area, right. whether it be the restaurants or the hotels or the cruise ship. Right. Um, and they learn customer service skills, which are so good for no matter what mm -hmm. area that they would end up working in because they have to work with people. So yeah. it's a great skill. Now, you both came to Learning Works in January of this year. So you have a, a little while longer to go through the summer, I guess. Tell me what has been the most enlightening thing about coming to Learning Works. Uh, Derwin, do you want to start with that, with you? Sure. Yeah. Uh, coming to Learning Works, um, I really got, I really felt like I was um, part of it when I came in because I saw a lot, some people that used to go to my school as well that did not uh, have the opportunity to graduate with their uh, class because unfortunately just like me um, it got kind of to a point where work was just too difficult at Casco Bay but um, I walked around my school and uh, somebody told told me about learning works and when I went there I uh, so applied and everything everybody was kind to me all the staff and uh, I really felt like it was going to be a great uh, program to attend and so far, it is. I love it. Every, every part of it and uh, every activity we do is great. It's like a private school with m much more individual attention than the, you were getting before, and people really listen to you. Yes. Yeah. And how about you, Ariel? Like Derwin said, um, it was just coming in and everybody was friendly and kind, and I just felt like I was a part of something and I didn't feel kind of ostracized by everybody else. I just felt like, I don't know, I felt like I had a lot of friends yeah. coming into Learning Works. And if, if things were going too fast at Learning Works, you can say, wait a minute, let's slow down a little bit. Let's talk about where I am in this, in this learning process and they'll help you with that. Yes, uh, when we first uh, go to Learning Works, mm -hmm. they will give us, um, I forgot what the test is called, but that will determine on where you are and what they're going to teach you. Oh, the and that the tape? Yes, called the tape test. Oh. And it's it's very helpful. Uh -huh. I've been doing very well on uh, every assignment I'm given. I've been passing and um, it's just very fun and I'm really focused on uh, all the work I need to do and that's great. That's terrific. And now you were both um, part of the program is doing community service. And tell us a little bit, each of you, about what you're doing for community service in, in, the, in the community. All right. Um, for, um, I'm going to talk about, uh, let's see, uh, Wayside. Mm 
-hmm. on Wayside. We uh, go there. Um, and that's a soup kitchen for people who might not food know pantry. about it. Food pantry. Yes. On Wayside, we go there uh, uh, once a week, and we cook um, a variety of food. Uh, we'll, like last time I went, we made. Uh, I forgot what the dish is called, but it was delicious. It was. <laughs> was it shepherd's pie or? Mm. Mm. <laughs> it was kind of. It was really similar. Good. To, <laughs> it was similar to lasagna, but it wasn't. It oh, had it's like, chicken parm. Yes, uh, it was that. Uh, it had. Uh, we put chicken, uh, potato, cheese, and some corn. Then uh, we cooked it all nice, and uh, it was <laughs> it was delicious. And on the side, we made some treats. We made cookies. Oh. And some of the students just went uh, all crazy and made these huge cookies. <laughs> they were like a, the size of drums. Uh, <laughs> so is that, uh, as well as being community service, is it part of the culinary program that, at Learning Works yes. to, to go and do this cooking? Yes. Oh, how great. And what about you? What do you want to talk about as far as your community service? I go to One Tree every Friday. It's a daycare, um, just a learning center. And, and you I work like with the children? Yeah, I love working with kids. And it may turn into something more permanent for you after, after yes. you graduate. Yeah. So um, what are some of the other things that the students will have to face before leaving Learning Works? There are, you do testing for right. not only a GED, mm -hmm. but also for proficiency in some of the things they're learning in the building or culinary. Correct. Training. They they have to have um, reached certain benchmarks or milestones in mm -hmm. all areas in order to complete and graduate the program. Mm -hmm. um, we hope for them to all have a high set exam mm -hmm. which they um, study for and take the each each component of the test. They have to have at least one of the vocational skills certifications. So uh, either in construction, culinary arts, and ho or hospitality, many of them have all three. Mm -hmm. We tr give them training in OSHA 10, so they are safety certified. Oh, that's great. They have um, certifications in JMG where they have completed applications. They have a complete portfolio that they are ready to take with them to apply for jobs. That's amazing. Um, they also have leadership classes that they participate in, so they learn about individual leadership and leadership in the community. Um, they also have to do at least 30 hours of community oh. service. Mm -hmm. And some of that they pick and choose, but we offer it every week. Like we said, we go to Wayside every week. Mm -hmm. um, Ariel does the one at One Tree. Not all students go to One Tree because daycare is not an interest for them. Right. So we try to tailor it to their personal needs. But they do have pieces that they have to complete in every area. And Can they come up with their own community service opportunity? If they have that um, available to them, they can, but typically they use the, the community service opportunities mm -hmm. that we offer. And, and um, what do you each hope to take with you when you go out and leave? Do you want to go on to college? Do you have job aspirations? I know that Derwin is working at the Civic Center here. And um, is that something you want to continue with, or do you have other ideas about what you want to do? Right now, I do not have any other ideas on uh, what I want to pursue for jobs. So mm -hmm. I am going to, to um, stick along with the Civic Center just for a while longer. But um, in the meantime, when I'm, uh, once I graduate from uh, Learning Works, I will just take a little break from school and then think about which college I would like to attend. Mm -hmm. But I am looking forward to going to uh, SMCC if I don't find anything else. Yeah, yeah, it's a great school. Do you know what you might be interested in doing um, or not? Just general college stuff and see. Um, I'm very interested in uh, looking at firemen stuff and oh. as well as uh, I've been looking into the military as well. Uh -huh because I have an interest on both of those. They're very nice. <laughs> and what about you, Ariel? We're going to have to wrap up pretty soon. So what, what do you look forward to doing after you graduate? I look forward to going to SMCC in the fall, maybe mm -hmm. in the winter. Um, I'd like to go major in English, and I'd like to go for early child care. That sounds wonderful. I think you're both leaders, and I'm yeah. sure that's how they feel at Learning Works. <laughs> talking with you has been very, very nice. Thank you. Thank you all for Thank coming. Thank you, Leslie, for inviting and us. And I hope you'll come back. Thank you.